Hey, it's Seth, and welcome back to, once again, an update video for Kerbal Space Program 2. This time, we actually have a few cool little additions for the UI. As you can see, we now have a FPS thing that we can now move around, unlike the one that was before, which was completely stationary. Although it does look, it does seem to be a little smaller. Now, once again, a brief description of basically what's about to go on. We will be launching this giant rocket, which cannot fly. I just made it simply so it's 200 parts. And we will be launching it to see the performance impact, to see if there is a change in how many frames per seconds we're going to get from this update. And then at the end, we will compare them to the ones from before. I'll go ahead and say, I am sorry if there's a bit of a sniffle. I am a little sick at the moment, but nothing major. Once again, here are my PC specs. We are on the lowest settings. And now, here is the test. Now, here are the results. Now, here are them compared to update 0.1.3. Now, a major difference between this version and uh, 1.3 is that the values of the frames per seconds that is calculated has been rounded up and down, it seems. Meaning that I no longer have the point four seven seven, you know, onward the decimal points or anything like that. So no more of that, it seems, which is fine. I don't. I, I honestly, it's it's just filling up the screen, so this is a bit easier to read. But there you go. It seems to have like leveled out between the frames per second. So not nothing really too major. This update. They even said in the patch notes that there would be some losses and frames in certain areas so there you go now before i go i'm going to leave you with both tests from 1.3 and version 1.4 so that you can see live the difference in frames anyway love you guys stay safe know that you matter and i'll see you